22% of millennials are going into debt from dating. All right, hang on. Now, listen. This is so ridiculous. Whoa. All right. Now, all right. <clears throat> My lesson from debt was this. I got off act- active duty, and I owed like 3200 on a credit card. And it took me about two and a half years to pay that off. Ouch. And if you would have asked me after I paid off the card what I had bought with the card, I wouldn't even remember. So a lot of these guys are probably like, you know, work up the courage to ask a woman out. And then she goes, well, maybe where are we going? That's the magic phrase for it better be good or yeah. forget it. So then he, he's like, well, we're, we'll go to such and such place. And he's like, okay, I'm going to have to charge it 300 bucks. She goes, has a good time, doesn't respond to your texts or calls until you offer to take her out again, and she'll ask to go to the same place or someplace better, and you're out of pocket again. Three dates, that's one G, and you haven't even, you know, got to really kiss her, see a nipple, or have her (laughs) vacuum out your insides through your pole hole. Yep. You know? I just, I can't believe, it makes no sense to me. Well, I mean, I believe it because these millennials are racking up huge college debt for degrees that pay nothing. Yep. Uh, So 22% of millennials, 19% of Gen Z gone into debt from what they've spent on dating. So uh, survey respondents said they spent about $91 on a night out on average. Respondents who identify as women, I love that they have to say that now, uh-huh. would spend an average of $81 on a date, while men spend an average of $104 on a date. Why, why don't we have um, like a big male movement for dating equality? and They should pay for half. I know, right? You half, see, right? This, uh, this, this dating gap here is just, yeah, it's, it's just not going to fly, ladies. You really need to step up to the table and start doing your part. Yeah, the dating gap is just atrocious. It really is. <laughs> And then, you know, we have a video coming out tomorrow, women complaining about, why don't men approach me anymore? Like, all right, all right, all right. Okay, you had your Me Too thing. Okay, you've been telling us forever, no is no. Except for, you know, when you, you, you tell us no and you want us to keep going because you're gaslighting us to see if you can actually gain control of the momentum and the relationship. Okay. And then we have to be like, whoa, 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 wait a second, whoa, whoa, whoa. To do like the mannequin Skywalker thing. This whole operation was your idea. <laughs> when you say no is no, but then you're like, oh, I'm not sure if this is going to work out. And we say, all right, cool, no problem. See you later. That's exactly what I do. I'm devastated. <laughs> what? No, no. Like I had a, um, a woman when I was working as an investment banker. It hit on me all the time. But mm. she worked in my office. And I was just like, I just was not into it. No. And like, they were you getting don't shit re- where you eat. They were getting up. Well, she was getting upset because I wasn't taking the bait. I wasn't playing those games. And we know what happens when they get upset. Well, it, it, she complained to her boss, who complained to the stockbroker manager, who kept complained to the investment banking side, who then, you know, my boss came to me and said, "What's going on?" I said, "Absolutely nothing. I, I, I don't shit where I eat." Yeah. He's like, "Sounds legit." And. Yeah. That was it. But uh, it caused a big hootie do. Oh, yeah. Well, when women claim that men don't know how to handle rejection, they're psychologically projecting. Because well, if you think men can't handle rejection, which is our default setting, yes, we get rejected 99 times out of 100. Um, yeah. Just watch what happens when you reject a woman once. Well, it's 18 no's for two maybes, yeah. eight maybes for one yes. A half a dozen yeses to one home run. Mm-hmm. That, those are very slim odds. Very slim odds. And and then some of those yeses, if the home run doesn't go according to plan, can turn into well, I changed my mind. Yep. And then you're on the you, and nowadays you're on the hook for uh, app array in yep. regret. So why are only six point five out of a thousand people getting married today? Gee, I can't possibly put my finger on it. Hmm. Well, listen, it, it's insane. Yeah. I mean, just when you look at the quality of uh, the ribs out there (laughs) who are throwing temper tantrums in public, I mean, is it any wonder when we say that 30 is the new 15? Yeah, here we go. This looks like it's at a Kroger. Yeah. 
Oh, just gonna break some wine bottles. Yeah, no big deal. That's about forty bucks. All right. Uh, can you throw uh -huh. the box to wine? No, I drink 60, that. Sixty. Eighty. One hundred. If that's Michigan, that's a felony. Yep. What is this about? One twenty. Don't know. I, I can't believe people are allowing this to happen. I literally, I, I would step in and I would move, remove that bitch from the store or di or incapacitate her till the cops come. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yep. Real nice, yeah. But, you know, men are the shallow, immature ones. <clears throat> well, l let's be honest. The reason we get labeled that way is when there's that one guy who really decides, you know, he's done and he goes off the reservation. Yeah, he's not die. smashing wine bottles. He's cracking skulls. Or he's he's popping caps. Yeah. He's doing all kinds of nefarious shit. That's not good. No. no it's now, not good. women, not as many flip out like that. But when they do get to that level, it's I would say it's equally as dangerous. Yeah. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for support or Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.